What's up YouTube and Amazon? It's Jefferson with the starters page and I got this product right here by Movo Photo. It's actually the T150 60 inch slider. It's freaking crazy and to be quite honest I absolutely love it and it also comes in this awesome really comfortable and great looking bag right here. It's really nice that it comes with its own carrying case and when you open it up the cool thing about that is that you're, you actually have two options. So you have one whole zipper to actually open up the whole bag, or you have side zippers right here where you're able to just pull out the whole system. To be quite honest, the way I usually do it is unlock the whole bag right there. So inside, you're actually included with these three bags and I use this all the time, definitely helps out keeping everything organized and it also prevents any of these items from scratching your actual slider itself. In these bags you actually have two caps and stands so it actually caps right at the end and also acts as a stand. So here it is right here and you're also able to lower or raise it which is really nice. So this is one and here is the second one right here. I really like these. These are actually really solid. And what I love about these two stands is that on the other side, you actually have thread holes right here. And what I'm actually going to show you guys on the field is mounting a tripod head on here. So you're able to vertically have this whole system stand up. So you're able to get nice smooth shots going up or down, which is really cool. So I'll show you guys that after. Next, here is the actual slider itself. This is where you mount the camera and or a tripod head. And I'll show you guys that one after. It also comes with a few other things. So one, you, you have two different threads right here, just in case if you have you know, a different thread size for your tripod mount or if your DSLR also accepts a bigger thread, which is really cool how they include that. And this one right here is actually a stopper. And that's gonna be really useful, especially in the video I'm actually going to be showing you, is it just assembles like so. And right when, the way I use it is when I'm sliding, I would use this to slow it down so it doesn't go fast and the only time I use this when I use vertical sliding motion but if I have it horizontally set up I actually don't use this at all so what I'm actually going to do is switch over to my iPhone 5s and I'm going to show you guys how to quickly assemble this with my DSLR and after that show you guys on the field examples and hopefully you guys enjoy this video with that said let's switch over now. Alright guys, so I got the DSLR right here, just switched over to my iPhone 5S. You have two ways to do this, right? One is actually twist on your DSLR like so, and in the beginning, I had to do this. I don't screw it all the way down because if you do, then you're not going to be able to have the ability to move the DSLR head around. What I do highly recommend is actually attaching a tripod head onto the slider and I actually have one right here. This is a really, really awesome tripod head. I am not endorsed. This is the GK GK G06. It's in my opinion, a must. And even if you guys are not going to pan vertically, it's still going to be nice because one, you have the handle right here. The screw on, screws on really nice. You have the handle right here, which definitely helps you with sliding. Also, it helps you pan up and down. So that's one feature that you are not able to do with this, is you, you're able to still pan up and down with this tripod head. It does come with a quick release plate right here, which is really nice, so we're just gonna install that. With the quick release plate and the tripod mount, it actually makes it so much easier mounting your DSLR into the slider, which is really nice. I recommend getting one, guys. But with that said, let's actually go outside, uh, show you guys several footages of this, and take a first spin. Alright guys, 
So that's pretty much how you set it up. As you guys can tell, I have a very weak uh, tripod. It's just the Dynex DXT RP60. I don't recommend getting it for a slider, so make sure you guys get a better one. All right, so we're just gonna start off right here, show off the angles. The key is to not have any of your sliders show on your footage. So from here, I'm gonna back away. And up. Down. Nice. That is super awesome. Hey guys, so what I'm actually going to be doing now is I'm going to show you guys how to use this tripod or pretty much any tripod that you guys have with this Movo Photo slider. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to get a vertical slide now. So I'll show you guys how that actually looks. You're going to have to screw your tripod quick release plate into the bottom of this. Perfect. And now you're going to mount this right inside close it turn it to the position you guys want it on lock everything in place so it does not move since this tripod really sucks what i'm actually going to be doing is all right so let's actually start off on top to properly get this shot it's going to be very very interesting but i think we can do it all right, here we go, here we go. There you go. So the way you use this part right here is you would twist it in there and it should just stay in place as you guys could see. But once you guys untwist this, to untwist it very slow and then it should start uh, releasing the head. You see that? So that's actually how you use that part or actually that's how I used it to get these very smooth shots. I'm not actually trying to get these smooth shots right now just because um, I'm not really holding this. So when you guys are getting these vertical shots, make sure you guys stabilize this top side because if you guys don't, 
then it's gonna be very, very difficult for you guys. All right, from here. I think we are done. I think we are done. Oh, she's sexy as hell. She's so bad. She does it so well. I can see the end as it begins. My last.